The field of mathematics is full of big ideas and fascinating relationships worth exploring. And a solid understanding of algebra empowers students to explore even more. But making sense of important concepts in algebra can't happen in a single lesson or even in a single grade level or course. In reality, even kindergartners can and should engage in algebraic reasoning that might not be formalized until an algebra course. Even then, algebra shouldn't be seen only as an endpoint. After algebra, I hope students will eventually study statistics, advanced algebra, calculus, all of those, and even more. So when we design Dreambox lessons for algebra, we build upon what students already know, but also lay the foundation for more advanced topics in years to come. We engage students with seemingly complex ideas in new and innovative ways. One of those topics in algebra is rate of change. Rather than merely give students a slope formula and have them calculate the rise over the run of line after line after line, we designed an interactive tool that helps students explore and understand rates of change more conceptually. This lesson takes place on the face of a cliff where students zoom in and out on a coordinate grid. In this problem, students are given a line segment and are asked to find the rate of change between the two endpoints. Students can move the grid around if they choose, and they can also create additional points on the segment if they find that helpful. In some lessons, the coordinates are provided on the graph. But in this lesson, students have the option to use a table to record the coordinates of the points. They can either use the picture or the values in the table to determine and enter the rate of change. In this more advanced Dreambox lesson, Students calculate the rate of change between two isolated points. We intentionally remove the grid lines to make sure students are not just counting the lines to find the rate of change. They approximate the coordinate locations and record them in the table. It's critical for students to understand how to use the coordinates to determine the rate of change instead of only using the picture. To deeply understand rates of change as an idea instead of just as a computation, students need to engage with nonlinear graphs as well. Here, students are asked to find the rate of change at a given point on a parabola. You'll notice that the zoom tool is active in this lesson, so that students can see how every curve is locally a straight line around a given point. We also have Easter eggs in our lessons, such as this cliff tent, that students can zoom in on for fun. As students zoom in and zoom out, notice how our grid animates over the graph area, and the art scales appropriately. We deliberately designed this lesson in order for students to understand that they can overlay a grid onto any plane and scale it in order to talk about location. By this point, students know that two points are needed to compute a rate of change, so they create another point and record both coordinates in the table. Even though this problem is not typically encountered until calculus, we've designed our Dreambox lesson so that students in middle or even elementary school can easily understand how the idea of rate of change can be applied to any curve or graph. At Dreambox, we design digital learning experiences that develop long-term understanding of important concepts in mathematics. And students gain confidence as critical thinkers because our lessons connect to what they already know and create coherent learning pathways that recommend what they're ready to learn next. The journey of thinking mathematically starts early and never stops. At Dreambox, we are proud to be a part of each student's journey. Thanks for your time.